Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a daily reading. So if you are returning, welcome back guys. And if you are brand spanking new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. Listen, my channel can be very intense. We look at a lot of criminal stuff most of the time, so you will hear information that could be disturbing to you. Uh, I'm not churchy or religious, but I could come across really heavy that way because I love Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. He's found in the tarot and I've proven that the scripture is here. People know it and some people don't. So if you don't know that, it is here and so I honor the scripture here I have a Hebraic descent and so I do keep covenant with Jehovah all ten of the um, uh, the, the commandments and uh, yesterday was the Shabbat normally I get on and do a Shabbat reading but I just uh, I didn't and so I hope everybody had a very restful Shabbat and all of that and had um, gotten some things renewed in your spirit and things like that but if you are new you'll just learn me as we go and uh it gets real intense sometimes and so it is what it is if you say you were supposed to if you if you don't then you weren't supposed to i guess thanks for checking me out happy birthday happy anniversary and all of that kind of stuff guys let's see what's going on Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth, my Yeshua, my Hamashiach, my Savior, my salvation. I uh, thank you for giving your people hope and uh, opening doors that no man can open and shutting them that no man can shut. I just thank you that you go before us, you prepare the way, I invite your presence here, and I only inquire at your hand and your hand alone. Jehovah, I enter into your uh, gates with thanksgiving in my heart, and into your courts I enter with praise, for this is the day that you have made, and I will be glad and rejoice in it, and I just uh, thank you for victory, and that you've already won the battle. Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, wicked, dark energy right here, right now. Be the lifter of any person that needs their head lifted it up because they've been dealing with hardship i just ask that you just um you just lift them up right now we just take authority over the devil right here satan you're under our feet you have no authority at all he just jumped out of the deck he has no authority it's ridiculous uh i just thank you Jehovah, for peace that passes all understanding i ask for your wisdom and your knowledge to come forth and to guide this message and make every crooked place straight. What do you want to talk about here today? What's going on? What would you like to bring out here? Thank you. So we are dealing with somebody who's in their head. I see it in my other reading today. This is somebody that's just been sitting there for some of you all just as a stalemate or somebody's put somebody as a stalemate or you're dealing with your ex or somebody got the mark on them or somebody's acting like there's nothing wrong but there is. Somebody's been crossway going within trying to figure out to make a decision about something. The pentacle is here. A contract, uh, some type of... Uh, Mel could be here, uh, pregnancy, somebody got in their head, now they're confused, what do I do because there's a pregnancy, there's some type of a pentacle or something very physical is here on this uh, decision or this uh, stalemate situation, uh, somebody's physically been sitting for a long time, uh, somebody's physically going to be as well because of what I've seen in my other reading, there was a uh, there was there was somebody's house was being bugged somebody um there was a victory there with the law uh was there somebody was having to answer some hard questions about some situation that took off so you know somebody physically going to go to jail because they need to because they put somebody else in physical hell like that then i guess they will show me the past position we had the nymphs come up again in that reading so people are dealing with uh people that are crossweight and mixed out and, and they're, they're little petite people if you don't know what that is and go down in my description box and uh uh, just scroll down there you'll see a little video you can watch about it uh, so a victory here this could have been five seconds ago um, this could be five years ago five weeks ago five hours ago five days ago um, this just in the past position some type of a victory is here this also goes back to balancing somebody trying to balance their mind because of some type of a pentacle here a contract or whatever that pentacle is for you this is the home. This could be the husband. This could be the law. This could be your mother, your children, because it goes back to the ninth and the fourth house where all that is. And that is a, a, a fortune card as well. That's fortune, then that's fortune there. 
um, physical assets are here then. Uh, maybe you work for the law, but in the recent past or some type of getting a balance or something with somebody's vehicle could be here. Something about a home. If you traveled on a celebration or something, then that's here in the past position showing up. Show me the um, the now, what's going on in the right now. You'll hold that you tell it. Death. Well, if this is the law, it still could be the law. It still could be FBI. We had the uh, judgment card there. My other reading still goes back to the same house. Some type of a trading is here in the now or turning your back on something or something's over. When this card shows up, something's over. Something's ended. Something's transformed. Some type of a secret is here. Um, obviously, somebody just got a, a, a recent victory for some of you all if you're in the upright and something's over finally, then that's that's positive. Then there's some type of, this is a positive card to get in, in if you're in the upright. Uh, especially if your enemy that's put you in some type of a stupid stalemate is going to be sitting there in a very physical way for doing that to you, given what I, you know, I, I brought out on my other channel that was being exposed by Yehovah. Um, then that's great. Something's over. Something's transformed. There's been secrets. Sex, money, property, and and uh, stuff like that. Somebody was in the gutter. I guess they were. We had something about something being um, dug out, like a, there was a trough or a basin or something like that. This is the rain. This is um, the ocean. This is watery stuff. Whatever this is, the eighth house has been real dark and something's over. And I send you love and light if you did lose somebody. Now you're crossway and you don't know what to do. We've got inheritances here. You got your taxes. You got fraud issues that could be here with this house. Somebody traded something in the now to, to be able to close something out, turn their back to, you know, um, wait for some type of ships to come in. For some people, they have because something's transformed here. Somebody did did trade something and it ended a situation and put somebody there as well. What's at the top of the mind space? <clears throat> What's known about this? You'll hold at the top of the mind space. The king of wands is here. Okay, well this is a anything from a if this is sexual matters and somebody got pregnant, this is the other man. Um, if he works for the law, he's real passionate. If he's upright, he's upright. He'll get up and take action in a very passionate way and be very managed with his wand. If otherwise, this person is a hothead. He's out of control. And if there's known about somebody killing somebody or somebody died within some stupidness, then I guess this person is here. This is a person card. This could be a father figure. This could be a spiritual leader. If, this, if they're in the occult, then the occult is here. And then we've got pregnancies and we've got some stupidness and third parties going on then. Um, a float trip type of energy or travel is here with this card, with this person. It's known about this person uh, being in the spotlight. This is somebody who would be known. The King of Wands represents that. This is a publicity card. There's gossip going on. It's known about the top of the mind about some some type of a travel is here in the past it's here as well but this is also somebody leaving trouble waters behind it's known about either they need to because they're troubled here or they're going to be able to okay somebody gonna go to jail there's eight swords for the overall energy and what's known at the top of the mind we got the law here as well and so if this person's uh going to jail, then possibly they're going to jail. If, if not, this person, somebody's going to take action to put somebody in jail. You could look at it that way, whatever this is. Show me the um, outcome, Yehovah. What's the outcome? The King of Cups is here. It still could be the law. Uh, or this is love situations. It's a father, a, a family member. This could be manipulation, I guess, for some people. Um could be Scorpio. There's a snake around his arm. There's law here. Okay, so if, if he, if, you know, if he's catching somebody in the law and they've got to answer some tough questions and they are, then this would be a manipulator. I've never noticed that snake right there. And somebody's had some type of a... Uh, enchantment is the word that's coming across. Um, this is in the upright though. This would be the law and somebody would cup somebody. Somebody is going to go to jail. Somebody's got some hard questions to have to answer. Somebody works for the law and did something to transform everything because of something that has been traded here then that's here. What What is this um, What is this king of cups here? Show me one on this king of cups. Here. Hold up. So this is prison. Um, this is a prison card. This is a confusion card. This is a psychedelic poison card. This is a how do I do something to protect a backwards organization card. 
uh, this is a crazy card. Okay, so again, for every upright person, we've got law here imprisoned and somebody is crazy and they've done some type of sacrificial thing to children because the occult is here and somebody is getting some type of uh, legal skills over their head. They just are. I guess so. It's really showing it. Somebody did trade something. Some type of generosity was paid out or something like that. Something's then known about it. Somebody will be cuffed here uh, in a very big way. Wow. We have kill here. The, the, the letter K. So if you're new, I use the Hebraic letters in my readings. And we have the letter K and the letter Lamid is here. The cuff and the Lamid. So the K and the L is kill. And um, somebody getting a licking really hard, I guess. We got the letter M here and the letter Z. Somebody was gang banged. This this word can take you back to that house with that uh, chariot. There, somebody was gang banged. And, and 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 I did show on my other reading somebody was being attacked. They were up in their head in their bed, and in the little box in the picture showed somebody getting attacked. Somebody did get attacked. Somebody gonna go jail for some stupidness because somebody's crazy. Somebody's just a freak, and they're they're just crazy, and they've loved and lost their mind. So that tells us, it, for some people, that won't be for everybody. Some people are just, they're in their mind. They're confused because of uh, some type of a third-party situation that's gone on. But for the people that are dealing with that legal matter where somebody was gang-banged, there's more than one person, then this is of people involved in some type of a death matter, okay? And something very watery. We got the ocean here. We got a boat here. And we've been following this for a while. We know somebody's been hung up. We've been dealing with the stupid occult for a while. You're always going to put it down. If you are new, I do like to pick from a homemade deck and let Yehovah Elohim tell it because nobody can tell it like him. You tell it. Yehovah, you just pick through my hands. Um, Yehovah says that those people who are weary and have been really weary and trying to figure out what to do within a situation, if you will just come to him, he'll, he'll give you rest. Some, somebody's going to get cuffed. This is the anointing to be bent, okay? And um, the, the, somebody's going to go to jail. It's showing it. And so you finally be able to just put your guard down, go to Yehovah, and he's going to give you rest. Finally, there's going to be some type of rest here. There's going to be some type of generosity here as well. Something about a car dealer is here. Okay, well, we have a vehicle right here. Something around that. There's an electrician showing up here in this reading as well. So, again, we got a lot of people involved in some stuff. There are going to be some hard questions. Burning and fire and people being in... Th this person... This King of Wands, if he's not in the upright, he represents somebody who's just angry and burning with passion. He's kindled all the time. Uh, I'm hearing somebody's um, device, uh, Kindle. Uh, some, uh, that could be a name, but um, the Kindle devices, uh, there was the, the cloud was showing up in the other reading where the person's sitting by the tree and pouting. Um, but oftentimes I'll put, uh, I'll mention something about something being put up in the cloud because there was something about something being spread was there whatever that was but I'm hearing a Kindle maybe somebody's Kindle they use a Kindle for the internet or so, whatever that is it's just something something about a Kindle is here um, but we do have you know people burning their children in the fire like the scripture says this is a very uh, this is a prophecy card it's a very spiritual card to get um, but it's in the negative and people went the way of Cain. There's no forgiveness for some people. They're profane. Okay. They got sticks around their arms. They talk out of both uh, sides of the freaking mouth and, uh, somebody needs to, to go to jail now and you'll hope just take them out. Just take them out. Something about a redness is here. Uh, somebody could be have red hair or they like to wear red or just some, something to do with red or redness here or some red color that could be a political uh, it could be a, a, a color of a vehicle. It could be a team. It could be all kinds of stuff. Okay? Um, make no friends with an angry man. Well, we have somebody angry here. It's known about somebody's angry. Somebody's done some stupid. Put somebody up in, in some crazy. Okay? If that was your ex, it was your ex. And something's happened to somebody's soul. Um, and some people sold their soul. And it's really bad. Make no friends with an angry man. And with a furious man, you shall not go. At least you learn his ways and get a snare to your soul. Oh, somebody's lost their soul, people. It, it, it grieves me. It really just grieves me. So, we have somebody who winks out here. Okay, well, we do. 
we do, and that, the Bible talks about how people like that, they're deceivers, somebody's a deceiver, okay, Jehovah's going to bless somebody, if, if, if you're still caught up in something, you know you need to do some right thing, Jehovah said he'll bless you if you get up and do the right thing, if somebody did, and somebody traded something to end something, then that's great, then Jehovah's going to bless you for that, you've been weary in something, he said, come to me, I'm going to give you rest within it, Jehovah's going to supply your needs today, and uh, the end of, of whatever's going on, your end will be better than your beginning. So thank you, Yehovah. Thank you, Yehovah. Because something's totally transformed in the now. So the anointing destroys the yoke of some stupid person that's uh, going to catch the snake here. So there is a legal matter. Something legal was going on in wording in my other reading. So we have the Manaz. And actually the Degas came out in that reading. And you can see the Degas within the Manaz itself. You take the stems away. Maybe something was, somebody's glasses are prevalent to something. I'm not sure. But that would be the letter D. And it came out. Um, so we'd have the, the MD is here. Because this is the letter M. But it is found within that. As I always bring out. Uh, this goes back to a real suffered but uh, a, a for sure victory within whatever the legal matter has been about that's transformed everything, whether it be with sex or with money or the occult or whatever it has been. Um, this would be like the resurrection card is the 20th letter, and the 20th card on the deck would be the judgment card, and that came out in the other read. And so some type of influence is here with this rune, but somebody really suffered something in a really big, big, big way. There was a betrayal in love, and possibly somebody... Uh, uh, foretold that as well. I'm um, not sure for some of you all. The Degas uh, represents the light. Okay, so again, this is like the judgment. People coming up and having some type of uh, understanding of something and the light's going off, right? Something happened and it changed. Some, this is a change. Then with the Degas, a beginning, a new cycle is here because something's over. Something's transformed in a very big way. And the Degas would go back to, since the Manaz represents a betrayal in love, if somebody did do something here, somebody for some of y'all got somebody pregnant and laws involved in some stuff and it's become a big thing because there's a sea of people here. Uh, the the gods goes back to somebody who plotted something. So somebody did plot something, they did it on purpose. And that's gross that, that some people got a gangbang that went on a very nasty, horrific way that transformed just a, a, a bunch of people. And it affected a large scope of an area, and people's crop got cut, and that's what that represents. And uh, people got a snare to their soul and got caught up in the occult and lost their soul. And, and it's just craziness, people, what's out here. But Jehovah says he's going to give rest for this stuff. There's an ending here. And so let, you know, let us come to the great one and let him just... Uh, uh, cuff the enemy today and take them freaking away. Let them hang up on their own altars if that's what they want. There's the hermit again. That also is the snake in the basket. We have somebody who's got a snake around their arm. Again, if you're the upright, you can catch those snakes. Then the hermit represents somebody can catch some snakes. If we've got a, 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 an MD out here, we also have the Z uh, and the T out here as well, I already said, and the J would be here in the pictograph as well, and the L and the K. Um, this is a, a judgment card uh, as well. Somebody who can catch that snake, put a judgment on it. There's been something real filthy here then. Um, there's, a, there's a doctor here. Somebody needs a doctor for some of the stupidness that they've done. Then, then we've got somebody who can really go within and catch that snake and to put some type of judgment and help somebody or, or maybe a doctor is involved. We've got, a, we've got a bunch of people involved in something with the mem when it comes out for a lot of people or it's affected a lot of people. Okay, There's high discernment, high wisdom here with the hermit when it comes out. Somebody's really went within to, to calculate something. They do know what to do because the hermit knows what to do and we do see a judgment being made then. Until next time, Shalom.